is Mid Michigan Now for the win. Sponsored by Shea Automotive Group. Well, good evening and welcome to For the Win, the show the players watch. I'm Sam Ali, and I know what you're thinking. Why am I all dressed up? Well, not going to a wedding, that's for sure. We've got no time to waste, so let's jump right into our game of the week. And we begin the night with a pair of rivals in girls basketball. Undefeated Carmen Ainsworth returned home tonight to host Graham Blank, who came into this game with an 8-3 record. Both teams are 2-0 in the Saginaw Valley League. And the last time they met, it was the Bobcats knocking the Cavaliers out of the playoffs in the Division I Regional Semifinals. This one had all the makings of a classic between these two teams. We're going to start things off in the first quarter. Cavs with an early lead. Chelsea Bishop pulls up with the three-pointer, and she will nail it. That tied things up at seven in the early going. A little later, Jada McCree has it. She shows no fear, driving into the teeth of the defense and scoring there two of her game-high 22 points. Back the other way, Sierra Robinson to Armani Smith for the mid-range J. That's good. Carmen Ainsworth back ahead. More from the home team. Going to be Dee Dee Smith with the long two. And the Lady Cavs, well, they were in no mood to lose their first game of the season. Second half, Raven Guy with the spin move. This one was a nail biter as Carmen Ainsworth hangs on for the win, 45-43. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna go back to the drum board. We're gonna look at uh, some tape and see what we can improve up on and uh, then go from there and then study our next opponent. Well, they beat us my freshman year from a game winner, but the rest walked out, so I, it didn't really count, but it counted. <laughs> so I guess this is our get back, and that's it. The Lady Cavs improved to 10-0 on the season. They'll be back on the road Tuesday night against Davison. And how about this for a big-time matchup? 11-0 Goodrich taking on 13-0 Lake Fenton. Martians got off to a slow start, but they'd get it together midway through the first. Riley Place with the beautiful reverse layup to bring Goodrich to within one. Moments later, it's Kayla Hairston, and check out the fake and the bucket from the freshman. She was all over the place in this battle of unbeatens. Back the other way, Ella Prevost to Savannah Fellenbaum, who knocks down the mid-range J. Blue Devils, keeping this one close. A little later, ball to the corner for Amaya Smith, and she dishes all the way to the opposite corner for her sister Kendall, who fires from three, and she nails it from downtown. This one lived up to the hype, and it would be Lake Fenton holding on for the win over Goodrich. 50-44, to Blue Devils still undefeated. More girls basketball action feature hosted Morris. The Orioles get off to a great start in this one. Mackenzie Dorner with the three-pointer, and it's good. She would make a school record nine threes in this game to finish with a game-high 32 points. The Bucks answer back. Amia Brown drives inside, goes up strong, gets the basket to go down for the Bucks. A little later, Sienna Washington comes up with the steal. Defense turning to offense as she finishes on the other end. Beecher did all they could to keep it close, but Morris had other plans. Aubrey Rogers knocks down the triple in the corner. Morris goes on to win this one, 54 to 40. Let's look at the scoreboards now. Davison hangs on for a road win over Lapeer, 45-42. Dow knocking off Midland, 52-40 in a battle of rivals there. It was Standish Sterling getting the best of Millington, 52-28 in that game. Also, Ovid Elsie all over Montrose, 76-47. It was Powers with a big road win over Saginaw, 58-56. Also, we've got Freeland knocking off Swan Valley, Swan Valley 51-39, but congratulations to the Vikings, uh, uh, Rachel Rezio. She scored her 1,000th point tonight. Valley Lutheran 50-48 over Michigan Lutheran Seminary. Seminary Novell over Ithaca 67-29. It was Frankenmuth knocking off Alma 64-35, 43-42. Nailbiter Bay City Western over Heritage. It was Genesee over Bendel 61-31. Lady Wolves are on fire. Durand 60-24 over Byron. It was Flushing over Swartz Creek 52-24 in that game. Well, coming up next in 
the for the win. We'll check out some boys basketball action from tonight. That includes a great matchup between Genesee Christian and the International Academy of Flint. We'll have those highlights and more coming up next on For the Win. Welcome back to Mid Michigan Now's For the Win. Well, the Genesee Christian boys basketball team has been a freight train so far this season, and for good reason. After falling in the state semifinals last year, they're out to prove that they have what it takes to bring home the hardware. In Division Four tonight, the Soldiers hosted the International Academy of Flint, who are also having a solid season so far. Student section just chilling out, watching this one between the Soldiers and the Phoenix. Let's go to the fourth IAF with a lot of work to do to get back into this game. Amante David uh, Evans with the bucket there to try and build some kind of momentum. Back the other way, Tyler Chapman, 4-3, and that's money. As Genesee Christian's lead got bigger and bigger, the Phoenix not going away quietly. Malcolm Wilson Bronson with the steal, and he finishes at the other end. A little later, Trenton Boyke dishes inside for Owen Garcia, and he gets that one to go. The Soldiers scored at will in this one, even leading to Chapman looking for a heat check. Sir, you are sick. Genesee Christian wins it, 84-55. For us, when we play fast like that, Trenton can play fast. The team's trying to speed us up, and he's able to you know, find the guys that are open as far as that goes, so that was a good win. Yeah, I mean, we just wanted to come out with some intensity. We had a back-to-back -back today. So last night we won two, so it was good that we kept it going. And we played with some good pace, picked it up on the defensive side, and that was the main key to winning. The Soldiers improved to 9-1 as they'll head to Linden on Tuesday night. A rivalry showdown in the Vehicle City as Carmen Ainsworth battled Grand Blank. Second quarter, Bobcats trying to extend their lead. Bryce O'Mara with the silky smooth jumper to push the lead to eight. Cavaliers enter back immediately. Grant Bean slips through the defense and gets that one to go. Carmen Ainsworth proving to be a formidable opponent tonight. More from the home team, Chris McClavish Jr. to Fred Thomas the fourth. Nice floater, and it goes down for the Cavaliers. But this one was all Grand Blank. Donnie Huddleston with the steal. He runs it back and finishes at the other end. Congratulations to RJ Taylor, who became the Bobcats all-time leading scorer tonight. Bobcats win this one, 67-56. Over at New Lola, the Hornets welcomed Mount Morris to town. Hornets held a big halftime lead in this one and had no plans of slowing down Ryan Heslip with a full head of steam, and he goes off the window for the bucket there. A little later, Panthers trying to fight back. Ball inside for Christian Die, and he gets it to go. The senior trying to rally the troops. Moments later, it's another bucket for Die. Mount Morris chipping away at the deficit. But the hole was just too deep to dig out of. Hornets worked the ball inside. First shot, no good, but Gregory Henderson is there to clean it up. New Lothrop picks up a big home win tonight, 64-32. To the scoreboards. Find out what's going, around, going on in uh, Lake Fenton. 73-65, handing Goodrich their first loss of the season. Davison gets a road win over Lapeer, 90-34 in other scores as well. We've got a bunch of them as Dow gets the win over Midland 68-54. Standish Sterling over Millington 75-58. It was Corona getting the best of Brandon 67-53. Also, we had Ovidelsi knocking off Montrose 76-47. It was Batley Lutheran over Michigan Lutheran Seminary 45-42. Novell knocks off Ithaca at home 61-51. Also, it was Bridgeport with a 10-point win over John Glenn, 61-51. Bendel, your winners over Genesee, 73-40. Frankenmuth knocks off Elma at home, 50-34 in that game. It was Durand all over Byron, 73-23. Hamity, your winners over Flint Elite, 82-63. And also, Cass City, 51-27 over Harbor Beach. Powers gets a home win, 76-64, and it was flushing in overtime over Swartz Creek, 56 to 53. And that'll do it for us on this edition of For the Win. From all of us here at Mid Michigan Now, have a great night. Enjoy yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the weekend.